A research is a process of systematic search for verifiable truths about a problem phenomenon. Hence, this systematic search requires developing a systematically organized approach, which is called the research protocol. The research protocol of a public health research paper includes the introduction, the literature review, the methodology, the results, and finally the discussion, conclusion, and recommendation. In the chapter 1 of a public health research paper, we have the introduction. The introduction is a summary of every aspect of the study. Introduction to the entire part of the protocol. The introduction has a summary of the literature review. The introduction also has ingredients to drive the methodology. And the introduction has something to do with the expected results also. However, there are six aspects under the introduction. First of all, we have the background to the study and scope. The background to the study provides emergence and characterization of the problem phenomenon. It tells us the story of how the problem started and the opportunity of characterizing the problem phenomenon. All this revolves around the epidemiological issues. In characterizing the problem phenomenon, we use epidemiological principles which tells us how the problem started and the magnitude of the problem phenomenon. Secondly, under the introduction, we have the statement of the problem. This describes the situation creating risks or challenge to normal convention, raising the question why and how about the problem phenomenon, and these are critical to identifying the problem to be addressed. And thirdly, we have the research questions. Imagine from the characterization of the problem phenomenon are pertinent research questions. These are the questions the study needs to address in order to halt the progression of the problem phenomenon or to eliminate it completely. Fourthly, under the introduction, we have the objectives of the study. After setting out research questions, you need to set out objectives. The statement of objective maps out the course of action. The objective will map out the course of action to resolve the research question raised, which is operationalized by specific objectives. This means that in a public health research paper, you have a general objective and specific objectives. Next, we have the research hypothesis. The research hypothesis is a statement of conjecture of what the research proposes as an explanation of the relationship between the dependent and independent variable, usually in the alternative hypothesis. The research hypothesis is the researcher's plausible proposed explanation of the dynamics of the problem phenomenon. There are different types of hypotheses, however, the null hypothesis and research hypothesis are the two major hypotheses. Finally, under the introduction section, we have the justification for the study. The last part of chapter 1 is the justification for undertaking the study. Two important considerations are done here. First, establish the rationale. What is the reason for the study? How big and important is the reason for carrying out this study? For this, just one paragraph is enough. The second justification is the contribution of your study. What type of contribution would the new approach make which has not been done before? This has to be done to know the significance of your study. This also can be done in just one paragraph. Therefore, the justification for your study includes the reason and how important that study is. And this is done in two paragraphs. List out the significance of the study because they will be talked about in the discussion section.